apprehensive. I surely didn't know what I was getting into. The new arena of the Air Force Academy. Well-mannered, prim, you know, prim and proper, dainty hands. The sun leaving showered on, you know, spoken rudely to. Cycles on our heads, rolling, haunching, sit-ups, push-ups, washing 10 clothes in the middle of the night, sleeping for two hours, all this besides the studies. Second day, second day in the academy. And uh, healthy, but not an athlete, told to run 10 kilometers all across the academy. And uh, halfway down, halfway down, I was all doubled up, red faced, breathing heavy for trying to catch my breath. I thought, that's it. I told my instructor, so I think I'm going to faint. I'm going to puke. What do I get back? If you faint, make sure you break your nose because you've got to fall down like a plank. And if you got to puke, hurry up. We're not going to wait up for you. So I had heard that you either puke, you faint, or you die, but you keep going. So the, with the first two stricken off, I surely didn't want to die. With my parents coming up to leave me, I had a five minutes, you know, thing with them in the evening. My tears wouldn't stop rolling down, and a mother sitting here wasn't sure what she got me into. She asked me, let's take you back. I didn't want to stay. But can I give up? That's a thought that scared me even more. Was it only me that was scared? Is the limit limited to where I was? Two days, I told her. Give me two days. And I never looked back thereafter. Never thereafter. And the pictures remained. The bicycles, you know, remained up. I think this is not working, firstly. So the pictures remained. The bicycles on my shoulders remained. But what changed is that smiles appeared. Smiles appeared, which made me happy. And those smiles thereafter translated to my family, who smiled along with my success as I excelled in my course. This is something which I learned in one of those days. What is a limit, actually? It's what I feel it's what your mind is predestined to think is your highest score. They are just high scores. Scores which limit you, scores which restrict you. How you get ahead of your limits, your high scores, is something which is dependent upon you. So by the end of the academy, of course, I had excelled. But at the same time, of course, I had uh, you know, learned to carry the bicycle for a long number of kilometers. It was lesser than the number of pins I could put in my hair and the amount of milliliters of oil I could put on my hair because that's what happens in academy where you make to sit down in a row and take in a bottle of oil and you're supposed to empty the whole thing in your hair. So with all that happening, I realized that your potential is not in your comfort zone. 